Drums, color, food, and beautiful craft all formed part of Monday's celebration of the 2022 Emancipation Day. A major feature of the holiday activities, the Emancipation Procession through the capital city. Among those who made the journey was Minister of Education, Dr. Nian Gatsby Dolly. It means that my children and myself, we have a limited potential. It means that where we were once limited in our scope, where we could go to, what we could aspire to, we are not limited. And this commemoration is important not just for us, but for the children that come behind us to understand that as children, as people of African descent, you can go anywhere you want to, you can do anything you want to in Trinidad and Tobago. Coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic, this was the first opportunity for the procession since 2019, and several persons commented on the smaller crowd. Chairperson of TTT Limited, Rhonda Francis, applauded the Emancipation Support Committee for organizing the event and offered some words of advice. We need more promos, more promotion of the, of the village, more investment in the activities, and people should become more entrepreneurial in the way that they do things within the village. Among the groups that turned out to show their support and process through the streets of Port of Spain, Kaiso for sex and gender justice. The statistics show that Afro Trinidadian males are um, affected more than any other group by police killings. The Emancipation Village closed its doors on Monday evening with scores of artisans and entrepreneurs having enjoyed the return to the Queen's Park Savannah for another Emancipation Day. Terry Ann Brown Campbell. TTT News.